Good morning, Pacers. My name is Valerie Wong, a freshman, class of 2019. And I'm Anali Brennan, a junior, class of 2017. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, and you're watching Pacers on the Man. Attention Pacers, has a staff member or grant made an impact on you? Take the time to write a thank you note to them. CSF is sponsoring the Grant Most Valuable Pacers program where you can write a note to say thanks to a teacher or staff member here at Grant. If there's someone you want to say thank you to, find the link in your School Loop email sent by Ms. Bittler or on the front page of the school website. The website will be available now until April 27th, the thank you notes will be complied into booklets and given to staff members on May 3rd. Take a minute and let those who help you know that you appreciate them. Freshmen, the next assembly for those with the GPAs of 3.0 or higher will be held in May. Don't forget to raise your grades if you want to be a part of it. Attention Pacers, are you interested in running for prom royalty? Well, applications are now available in E2 and can be submitted to room E2. Applications are available for juniors and seniors who are interested. The deadline to turn the application in is April 15th. Please take into consideration that there are several requirements that must be met. For any further questions, contact Ms. Acosta in E2 or Ms. Hernandez in room E4. Hey, I'm Grace, about to go interview some folks at the NFL Pro Day. Let's go Pacers. Hi, I'm Grace here with Javante Booker. What made you want to do your NFL Pro Day here instead of at your home school? Uh, really just um, me uh, giving a message back to the kids here in the community. Uh, you know, I'm out from this neighborhood, so really I just wanted to show everybody in the community that you can make it out, and you can make it out the hood, you know, yeah. in other words. And really I just did want to fly back to my school when I stayed <laughs> right around the corner from here, so... Um, you know, I definitely uh, felt that I put on uh, quite a little show today for for the community and, um, you know, for these NFL scouts. Who and what has been your biggest motivators? Uh, really, this one right here. Um, Handsome. You know, really Beautiful. since uh, since um, I had him, you know, it just uh, it kind of just changed my life. Um, really, just me. Uh, never was really a hard head kid like that at all, but when, when, when he was born, he kind of just changed my life and knowing that I had to just keep grinding harder and to, to, to you know, succeed for him and, and put a put a better, you know, roof on his head and, you know, things like that. So really when my son was born, it was definitely a great feeling. What can we expect to see from you in the upcoming years? Uh... Really just uh, seeing me in the pros and doing good in the pros. I don't want to just be a, a, you know, just a guy on a team just collecting checks. I actually want to do good and, and be a potential, you know, Hall of Famer one day and uh, go to the Pro Bowl every year. I want to do, you know, good and, and get a bunch of accolades. Like, I just don't want to just be a, a player just to play the game. Thank you and congratulations. No problem. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace here with Carl Reed. How does it feel to have Booker come back to Grant Campus? It, it says a lot about the place, him to come back to where he played and, and where he's from. So it says a lot about Grant and how pace for life really means pace for life. Did you, did you expect this from Booker when he was a player here at Grant? We always knew he had a lot of talent. He was going to go somewhere. So, I mean, yeah, it was really expected from him. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace here with... AJ Highsmith. And what do you do? I'm a scout for the San Francisco 49ers. How does it, what is it like to do an NFL Pro Day here at Grant High School? Um, I think it's awesome. I think one of the biggest things it does, I think it's great for the community. You know, everybody that, you know, because we always get the numbers at the colleges and it's kind of a behind the scenes thing. But, you know, I think it's really good when he can come back and do this in front of the people that have supported him for his whole life. Awesome. Um, what, are, what have been, what do you look for in a player? Um, I think you just, I mean, we have the film and you, you know, you evaluate them during the year when they play, you know, the real football games and pads and everything. But out here, 
you know, you just want to see him interact with everybody. You get to really see the relationships he has with people and just how he moves as an athlete in general. So it's a little different than football, but it's also another side that's really important. Is there anything you're excited for in the upcoming seasons? Um, yeah, I think just, you know, trying to find the right guys. You know, you see there's so many guys in the process that you evaluate and you, know, you come to pro days and hopefully you get to learn the guys and, you know, talking to guys like Devontae, you just want to really get to know them and, you know, pick the right kind of guys for your team. Thank you. No problem. Um, kind of really just wanted to do it just so, so they can see that, you know, you, you, you ain't got to be doing you know, the bad things in the neighborhood and, and fall into that trap. And you can see an example of me that, um, you know, from all the adversity I overcame and for me to be here, you know, I can show you. Hi, I'm Grace here with Miss Davy, Vice Principal of Grant High School. <laughs> How does it feel to have Booker come back to Grant Campus? I'm, you guys, I can't even explain it. My heart is, I'm so excited. Like, this is history in the making, and I, it really is not just Booker, it's Grant Pacers. And I'm hoping that kids get that feeling that this ain't about one person, this is about all of us. And having an NFL day at Grant, that's something big. And what I'm hoping for is that more kids, whether they go to NBA, where the girls go to, you know, salt, whatever, that we do more of these. And that Booker is the first to come. This community deserves it. You think about how many times they come out for football and they see these guys in high school and now they get to see something great. I think it's awesome. It's awesome. And if he gets to stay in California, that's going to even be much better. <laughs> got to put that in there. <laughs> did you expect to, Did you expect this from Booker when he went to Grant? Oh, definitely. We, um, Me and Booker have like a, you know, mom-son relationship and and there is no time in my mind that I think he would give up. I knew, and I just keep on talking to him about persevering. He had his road was not easy. He didn't have an easy road. He had lots of bumps in the road, but he hang in there, which is what pacers do. Anyway. Sure. So I expect him to be a true pacer like he is. Thank you. Well, this was such a great experience. I got to interview Booker, a 49er scout, and some of our fellow staff members. Have a wonderful day, pacers. Well, this concludes your morning announcement. Pacers on Demand was brought to you by the Grant Student Programming Network and on behalf of the Arts Academy, my name is Valerie Wong and I'm Anali Brenner. Have a wonderful day, Pacers.